And I was like, nah. And I guess my friend, who, you know, just for full disclosure, he's African-American like myself. And he was like, oh, man, you know, I didn't really like it. I, I don't think it was... I'm not going to say that it's, and I'm quoting my friend here, like on the text message. He basically said, from what he saw from Brett Favre's comments about, you know, Deshaun Watson demanding the trade, he thought it kind of had some race, racist sort of overtones or undertones or however you want. I'm not sure what the difference between an overtone or undertone is. It just doesn't sit right with you. It just something about it just doesn't sit right with you for whatever reason, overtone or undertone or whatever the case. I don't know which is the difference, but okay, let me read what he said first, you know, and and uh, make my oh see this isn't even giving me the this is like the whole clip. Okay, maybe I can just let it play out. This is on uh, Yahoo Sports. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Deshaun Watson demanding for a trade? This is what Brett Favre had to say. Uh, he was like, hey, man, Brett Favre might get canceled. <laughs> and my immediate response was like kind of like I thought that was like a little funny because I, I listen to a lot of comedians and comedians are always talking about cancel culture and how stupid cancel culture is or how, you know, it doesn't make sense or whatever. And usually, though, they say that, I guess, like in like in response to someone being canceled because they said something in the past, right? They did something in the past and people found out about it and now they want to cancel them. And, you know, I feel like when people do things kind of currently or in the in the present day, it's a little bit different than wanting to cancel somebody for something they did in the past because I think, you know, if people aren't allowed to make mistakes or change or grow or evolve from who they were, especially if they weren't like very pleasant people in the past, then what the fuck are we, you know, what's the point, you know, of growth or forgiveness and understanding or empathy and apathy, uh, and sympathy. And I've just been having this conversation over the last 24 hours with a friend of mine about perception and the power of perception. And a lot of times I think what happens with these comments is how people perceive them and what a person's perception might be. When somebody says something that they don't like or doesn't sit well with them. And I'm not one of these people that believes in like cancel culture, uh, so so to speak. It's a phrase people use when they really want someone to pay attention to what happened or they think what happened is 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 outrageous or, you know, shocking. So, oh, we're going to cancel this person because so-and-so said this or did this. And I don't agree with that. And this is how strongly I feel about it. I'm willing to cancel you. I'm willing to never listen to your music again or never buy your clothes or never support you in any sort of way. Like, but I don't think you can really ever cancel somebody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Unless you literally like erased everybody's, unless you have one of those, those little, uh, uh, Men in Black flashers, right? That Will Smith and Agent J or whoever the fuck it was, like they use. And I think about this all the time. Like, honestly, there are things that I've said in private or maybe things I've done or thoughts that I have that if people knew them, they probably cancel me. If I like completely said everything I ever thought or opinions I held at one point in time ever saw the light of day. Yeah, people, I mean, I've, I've People would probably cancel me, and I'm sure that every single person in the world has said something disgusting or fucked up or, you know, repulsive or or, or have some sort of interest that someone else might find repulsive, especially if you're talking about, like, you know, people's, like, sexual interests. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people find certain things very repulsive and disgusting. I was That, that came to my mind because I was... Uh, <laughs> I know I'm not about to confess anything to you, Brazzle, but uh, there was this girl who does a, a BDSM, educational BDSM page on YouTube, and I follow it. So I guess, yeah, I can confess that. I'm into BDSM. I'm a freak. I am into bondage, discipline, sadomasochism. That's what BDSM stands for. But anyways, the point is, um, you know, she was talking about this girl, some other influencer girl chick on Twitter. She posted all these racy sort of... Uh, explicit sort of whatever lewd images and and some people were getting dang man but uh anyways like people judge people that's what it comes down to and i'm not even gonna go all the way down that that road 
people judge people. And I'm gonna get to your comment in a second, Rick and And what what I'm what <laughs> Yeah, he's <laughs> I know, very true, very true. The Brazzle Dazzle is must be a glutton for pain and uh, sadomasochism himself or herself. I don't even know. Brazzle Dazzle could be a girl, you know, or it could be non-binary or it could be, you know, trans or whatever the case may be. But uh, whatever they are, they must be a sadistic, masochistic mother effer because watching a team suck year in and year out for their entire existence I mean, you have to be some sort of sadomastic freak, if that's the case. But, uh, you know, to get back on topic with the Brett Favre thing, um, you know, and just people just judge people. And, 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 and when you have an idol or someone you looked up to, it's hard for them to not be as perfect in your mind as you think thought or you hope they would be and I can understand why people want to cancel people or why they they get so hurt by what people other people say that they feel like they have to have this reaction Uh, but what I will say is if anything it was more about an ageism to me this is more age related than race related and and um it could be a little cultural but I think honestly no matter if you're black white Asian, Latino, whatever, like, and anybody who kind of grew up in a strict sort of Catholic or religious or even just like conservative household um, is going to feel this way. Brett Favre said, I don't think he's wrong, but I'm just not used to this. When I, the era that I grew up in, you don't talk back to your superiors. You just don't like you, you get paid, you do what the heck they tell you to do. That's it. You don't, you don't, you don't. You don't rock the boat. You don't puff your chest out and flex your flex your leverage against the perceived power. What I will say is, if anything, it was more about an ageism. To me, this is more age related than race related. And and um, it could be a little cultural, but I think honestly, no matter if you're black, white, Asian, Latino, whatever, like, and anybody who kind of grew up in a strict sort of Catholic or religious or even just like conservative household um, is going to feel this way. Brett Favre said, I don't think he's wrong, but I'm just not used to this. When I, the era that I grew up in, you don't talk back to your superiors. You just don't like you, you get paid, you do what the heck they tell you to do. That's it. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't rock the boat. You don't puff your chest out and flex your, flex your leverage against the perceived power. Put you to go, boy.